Hey everyone, my name is Avery Hill, a staff researcher for Ballotpedia. I'm here to talk to you today about federal campaign finance laws. Federal campaign finance laws regulate the use of money in elections, and specifically how much you can donate to your political candidate and party of choice, and then how those candidates and parties can use that money to advocate for certain candidates' election to office. Now, federal campaign finance law started in 1907 with the passing of the Tillman Act by President Theodore Roosevelt. The Tillman, was, the Tillman Act was passed after allegations that corporations simply had too much influence in presidential elections. The act barred corporations and national banks from participating in federal elections. Now, over the course of the next 100 years, the Supreme Court has written thousands of pages of decisions clarifying and changing these federal campaign finance laws. But how exactly does federal campaign finance work? Well, if you were a political candidate looking to run for office, you would first let the FEC or Federal Election Commission know that you were running for office through an official candidacy filing. Once you filed with the FEC, every quarter you would let them know in a quarterly financial disclosure how much you raised and spent on your campaign. If you were running for president, however, you would let the FEC know how much you raised and spent every month. The FEC then categorizes spending into four categories. The first is known as hard money expenditures. Hard money is money donated to political campaigns to spend to advocate for someone's election to office. This is the stereotypical political donation. It's what you think of when you donate to a campaign, someone spending on lawn signs or political ads, etc. Soft money expenditures, however, are another category, and that is spending money not for one particular candidate's election to office, but rather some other activity, like getting people out to vote or assisting and helping people register to vote. The third category is known as independent expenditures. Independent expenditures are expenses made outside of coordination with a specific campaign. These expenditures are still used to advocate for someone's election to office, but they're made by an independent organization, such as a political action committee, or PAC, or super PAC. The final category is known as communication costs. Communication costs are those funds spent by unions, trade organizations, and other member groups in advocating for a specific candidate or political party. Now we get to contribution limits. How much can you spend and donate for a political candidate or political party? Well, every year the FEC sets new guidelines for how much you can spend on a party or a candidate during an election season. During the 2019 to 2020 election season, you can donate $2,800 to a single candidate in a single election cycle. You can also donate $5,000 per year to a political action committee, $10,000 per year to a state, local, or district political party, or $35,000 to a national political party. Now, while we've simplified campaign finance in this video to just a short few minutes, campaign finance law is extremely nuanced. Fun fact, before just a few years ago, the longest Supreme Court decision ever written in McConnell v. FEC was written to help clarify campaign finance regulations, and the opinion was over 700 pages long. So needless to say, don't base all your political funding and spending activities on this three-minute video. Instead, jump onto Ballotpedia and see what other information is available about campaign.